videos we have, the, the restaurant had videos, there were body cameras there to see if there was any criminal behavior there, if there was anything that we could see that was in, inciting issues that uh, could be unlawful. Um, there was uh, rumors about extortion, and we just wanted to hear their side of the story and be able to review everything that happened that day. Um, the chief can address that what he has seen so far, um, not done with the investigation yet, but, but has reviewed quite a bit of the, uh, the, the videos and things so far. Uh, what we heard from the Canaglia family, though, I will say, is it was Tony Jr. that put out quite a few, it was either Facebook posts or, or tweets. He told us, too, that he, um, he knew what he said, and he, he, he told us two things that he did say on Twitter, and they were wrong and they were inappropriate. And um, he knows they were wrong and inappropriate. So he has taken down that, that Facebook but as far as the investigation so far, I'll let the chief address it. Sure. I mean, obviously we needed to look into the extortion piece or any other crimes that may have occurred there. And as this investigation has unfolded, we do not anticipate making any arrest or, or on either of those fronts. So at this point in time, there's a few other things to do, but it looks like that incident um, is done. It's over with. And for the most part, that was a legal protest. The, probably the dynamic that played out differently there than, than other protest scenes that you might see is the sidewalk was right in front of the business. Mm -hmm. So the sidewalk is a public right of way where you can protest on. Most times there's a buffer between the sidewalk and the, and the window entry to a business and it wasn't on this occasion and that caused a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. So you, you're in your, we have to let people protest. I mean, that is their right on public right of way and a sidewalk is public right of way. But when the, the building itself butts right against the, the, uh, the sidewalk and, and somebody's touching the building, well, that's private property. So we really wanted to take a careful look at everything that happened that day. And that's, that's one of the reasons why we wanted them to come in to listen to their side of the story. But I also wanted to deliver the message to them that as mayor, I want to help every business, every restaurant in Omaha recover from COVID. They, along with every other restaurant, were closed for quite a while. They were only doing curbside service for a while. They have just got back into business, and I hate to see any business fail. And so my message to them was, is if I could do anything I can within my power as mayor to help them reopen or reopen in another site, um, I, my help is, is offered to them, and I'm happy to help them. We don't want to see them closed because of an issue like this. Do they think they'll be able to reopen somehow? I think that they are, cons well, maybe I'm, I'm hopefully wishing here, but I think that that is still not out of the picture. They did tell us that they would not open up at that same site again in the future.